Fujifilm has made a significant splash in the photography world with the rumor of the new X-H3 camera, boasting an impressive 80 megapixel resolution. This latest model will mark some major upgrade in Fujifilm's lineup, showcasing advanced technology and innovative features that aim to cater to both professional photographers and enthusiasts alike. At the heart of the X-H3 is Fujifilm's new X-Trans CMOS sensor, which combines high resolution, high sensitivity, and a wide dynamic range into a sleek design. The introduction of this sensor is a game changer, particularly for photographers who demand exceptional image quality without the bulk often associated with larger sensors. Initially, the idea of an 80 megapixel sensor might raise questions about how such a high resolution can be integrated into an APS-C format. The secret lies in the smart engineering of the sensor's 40 megapixel architecture, which utilizes a 45 degree rotated color filter array. This technology is not entirely new. It was seen in the X-H2 and X-T5 models, which also featured the 40 megapixel sensor. However, the X-H3, takes it further by employing interpolation techniques and advanced processing, enabling it to produce images that rival those captured with full-frame sensors. Interpolation is a process where the camera uses algorithms to generate additional pixel data based on the information collected from the sensor's existing physical pixels. This means that even though the sensor captures 40 million pixels, the processing enhances the image to effectively provide the detail and clarity of an 80 megapixel image. For photographers, this results in sharper images with finer details, making it particularly advantageous for those who focus on landscape or high definition photography. Another remarkable feature of the X-H3 is its innovative X-Trans color filter array. Unlike traditional CFA layouts, Fujifilm employs a randomized pattern that helps reduce moiré effects and improves color accuracy. The new 45-degree rotation of this pattern further enhances the clarity and precision of colors, resulting in images with improved texture and sharpness. This improvement is especially beneficial for photographers who prioritize fine details in their work, as it allows for stunning clarity in landscapes, portraits, and even street photography. One of the typical challenges with increasing pixel count is a compromise in low-light performance. However, the X-H3 overcomes this hurdle with its dual-native ISO readout, ensuring excellent performance in low-light conditions without introducing significant noise. The camera supports 16-bit raw image output, which enhances color depth and detail in challenging lighting situations. This capability is a significant advantage for photographers who frequently work in natural light or who capture images during the golden hours of sunrise and sunset. Comparing with the Fujifilm X-M5, while the X-H3 is certainly the standout model, it's worth mentioning the Fujifilm X-M5, which has also been generating buzz. The X-M5 features a 26.1 megapixel X-Trans sensor and offers a range of functionalities aimed at content creators, including 4K video capabilities, in-body image stabilization, and a robust autofocus system. Although it does not rival the X-H3 in resolution, the X-M5 remains a solid choice for videographers and photographers who need a reliable all-around camera. The Fujifilm X-H3 is designed specifically for photographers who demand detail and clarity. Its interpolation technology allows it to produce images that rival those taken with larger sensors, making it an excellent choice for landscape, architecture, and high-end product photography. Despite its advanced features, Fujifilm has maintained an intuitive interface, ensuring that even semi-professionals can maximize their experience without a steep learning curve. As the photography world awaits to see if the Fujifilm X-H3 will redefine high-resolution standards, it is clear that this camera is poised to make a lasting impact. Whether you're a landscape photographer or someone who values image quality in your work, the X-H3 may just be the perfect tool for capturing the details that matter most. What are your thoughts on this new release? Let us know in the comments. It's been over three years since Fujifilm introduced the X-Pro3, and now fans are eagerly anticipating the release of its successor, the X-Pro4. In this article, we'll round up the latest rumors and speculations about the X-Pro4, 
as well as explore potential changes Fujifilm might make to future camera models. With the X-Pro series being a cornerstone of Fujifilm's lineup, this anticipated model could bring significant advancements. The X-Pro series is renowned for its luxurious design and has long been a favorite among Fujifilm users. However, more than three years after the launch of the X-Pro3, stocks of the camera are nearly depleted. This has led to increased speculation that Fujifilm may soon announce the X-Pro4, especially as demand grows for a new mid-range or high-end flagship camera. Rumors about the X-Pro4 began circulating earlier this year, and according to reliable sources, this camera is expected to be a game-changer. At the heart of the X-Pro4 will likely be a 40-megapixel APS-C X-Trans 5 BSI sensor, paired with the state-of-the-art X-Processor 5 for image processing. This combination is anticipated to enable stunning 4K video recording at 60fps in high-quality 10-bit format, elevating the X-Pro series to new heights. One of the most exciting rumored upgrades is the long-awaited 7-stop in-body image stabilization. This feature would significantly enhance the camera's capabilities, making it an even more attractive option for both photographers and videographers. Additionally, Fujifilm is expected to introduce a new user interface and menu system, along with an autofocus system similar to the one found in the latest Fujifilm X-T5. These enhancements could make the X-Pro4 an appealing upgrade for users of older X-Pro models. Fujifilm is facing fierce global competition, and to regain its original fan base, the company appears to be aiming to offer a range of cameras across different price segments. There is speculation that Fujifilm might transform the X-Pro series into a luxury line that can compete with Leica M cameras. This transformation could include increasing the size and magnification of the electronic viewfinder, implementing a new autofocus system, and improving the overall build quality to provide a more luxurious look and feel. However, Fujifilm may not launch its next-generation flagship camera until it introduces a new high-end sensor, which could breathe new life into the entire X-Pro lineup. This potential new sensor could build on the success of models like the Fujifilm X-T5 and X-H2, offering further improvements in image quality and performance. One of the challenges Fujifilm might face in developing the X-Pro4 is incorporating features that have traditionally been the hallmark of Leica M cameras. For example, Leica's approach to optical viewfinder frames has its unique quirks, and integrating an 18mm frame into the X-Pro4 could be challenging. However, the X-Pro2's optical viewfinder with dual magnification might offer a practical solution, similar to some Japanese rangefinder cameras, providing photographers with flexibility and usability. The X-Pro series has evolved significantly since its inception, once being Fujifilm's flagship camera known for its power, flexibility, and versatility. However, with the rise of models like the X-T series and X-H1, the X-Pro series has faced some pressure on its status. Despite debates about the diminishing functionality of the X-Pro3, there remains a strong demand for X-Pro cameras, particularly the X-Pro2, indicating that Fujifilm fans are fervently anticipating the X-Pro4. So when can we expect the Fujifilm X-Pro4? While there's optimism that it could be released even during the upcoming holiday season, the exact timing remains uncertain. As always, the anticipation continues to build as we await official announcements from Fujifilm. What are your thoughts on the potential features and upgrades of the X-Pro4? Share your expectations in the comments below. If you enjoyed this article and want more content like this, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. And we'll see you in the next update.